blockchain is perhaps best known as the way in which cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether are underpinned. But in Ethiopia, it's being deployed in schools. The government of Ethiopia has partnered with blockchain firm IOHK to digitize the sector. Its role includes record keeping, resource allocation, and the issuance of teacher and students' IDs. Education Minister Getahun Muke said the technology was being piloted in all secondary schools, covering around 5 million students. As Minister of Education, I'll be able to locate exactly where, for example, very good students are in, in mathematics or in physics or in chemistry. A blockchain is a database held across a network of computers. Once a record has been added, it is very difficult to change. To ensure all copies of the database are the same, the network makes constant checks. That can be useful, IOHK African Operations Director John Connor says, when, for example, verifying someone's qualifications. This new form of identity would enable you to share a single link to an employer. If you could click on it and then follow through, blockchain verifies um, to be able to follow through on the blockchain, the verifications that you've actually achieved what you said you have. So IOHK says the blockchain will allow Ethiopia's government to monitor records like class attendance, schedules, and grades for all levels of schooling. The authorities have other plans, including providing all students and teachers with a tablet and a dedicated internet network. That's as it pursues a goal of becoming a middle-income country by 2015. <laughs>